Hello again and welcome to the official walkthrough for Acrum, the newest installment of the Fabric series. My name is Cornelius and I'll give you a quick overview of my personal highlights within this collection. This library is inspired by the sound of seminal composers such as Karl Stockhausen, Klaus Schulze and Georgi Ligeti. They were pioneers in using electronic devices as sound sources in their compositions and thereby created a comprehensive catalogue of electroacoustic avant-garde music. The collection was made in collaboration with Max Knot, who is an orchestrator, arranger and composer. He's also the former bass player for the German band Die Sterne, as well as a modular synth aficionado. Before conceptualizing this library, Max and I met at Telic Studio numerous times while working together on film music recordings. One evening, we coincidentally bumped into each other at a concert and got talking. Shortly after, he sent me a couple of sounds he made with his modular system that were so odd, but at the same time so unique and characteristic that we decided to turn his ideas into a sample library, which I will present to you now. The collection is structured into two main categories, concrete and abstract. Within these categories, we have five subfolders. Every sound consists of two layers that can be mixed together using the mod wheel. In the mixer section, you'll find two channels per sound, a closed signal and a distant reverberated signal. Also, every sound has been recorded chromatically, so every key is different. This applies especially to the abstract category, giving the library a huge range of different sounds while making it a joy to explore the patches. Let's begin with the concrete folder. These sounds in here have a playable tuned range and are a bit less abstract. Moving on, we have the dots. These are short, tonal percussive sounds. Next up, here are some of the line sounds, which are quite straightforward lead and bass sounds. There are also some rhythmic tempos and loops that you can find in the pattern folder.
Last in the concrete category, we have the collages. These sounds incorporate different elements found in the other categories. The second main category is called Abstract. In here, you will find more unconventional, experimental and atonal sounds. Let's start with the planes again first. And next, let's hear some of the dot sounds. There are also some noise type sounds in here that we will check out now. Most of the abstract patterns are made from the originals of the concrete folder, with a wacky, random twist to them. Thank <laughs> you. 
The last folder are the collages, which are again a combination of the different characteristics that define the other categories. Let's have a listen. This concludes our walkthrough for Achrome. To me, this library is not your average sound collection, it feels more like a piece of interactive sound art. I wish you a lot of fun exploring this very special product and I'll see you for the next Fabric walkthrough.